Hey everybody, welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and hopefully add some awesome games to your backlog. That's what we aim to do every time. Hey, Initiating we are back for new with some Anvil Vault Breakers and you know what? I'm gonna go for a run for this third galaxy and for the first time ever, I'm gonna play online. Let's see how we can do here. Accessing team network. All right. So this is uh, this is a total first for me. I'm hoping uh, it goes okay. So it looks like uh, looks like we've got a lightning with us. All right. Let's ready up here. So uh, this is going to be exciting to see how we do. Um, and at the end of this battle, I'm going to pop in a code that's going to give you a gold hound. All right, let's... Uh, petrification lasts twice as long and reduces defense for petrified targets. That sounds excellent. Let's do that. Okay, we've got no gold, no spending money, but uh, we'll hopefully look to change that. Last time around, I had a successful run with... Uh, the Sandman, and we're hoping to do that again today. Okay, so we've got, uh, what is that? Is that a jungler or a liner? I can't tell yet. Oh, that's jungler. Wow. I should have been able to tell from the, uh, the landmine action. Uh oh, I think he's coming my way. You know, I've heard from so many of you in the comments that you've had successful runs in Campanella and uh, you know I've been wanting to do it and we got to today I made my coffee which by the way uh, just a beautiful cup that I have going uh, this is a new blend from uh, Lady Falcon out of California and this has notes of peach apricot and caramel very, very exciting. Oh, I took all of that one in the face. Oh, man. It's coming my way. It's, uh, it's very rude. Okay. Well, good news. I think we're going to survive this opening round. So that's great. Let's go right to the vendor. You know, I don't have a ton of cash, though. What did we end up with? 176. Huh. Well, let's do one flippy. What did we get here? Powerful defense suit. Weak spot detector. I mean, I like that. Let's, uh... Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, come on, goat. Get with it. I drink more coffee. Okay. Number two. So... <clears throat> I've been playing uh, a lot of Oculus Quest lately, uh, more than I have in the past. Ooh, petrified target on hit, weapon power increased by 50% for 10 seconds. Wow, all right, we'll do that. Anything in here? Nope, nope. Yeah, so a lot more VR than uh, I've played in the past um, because I found a game that I really like. Uh, if you have a headset and you enjoy sword combat, you have got to get yourself a copy of Until You Fall. Um, this game, I'm telling you, it's, it's incredible. Um, and it, it's a roguelite on top of that. So you're, you're going in you're fighting these guys uh, throughout these areas and you know it it just feels very very realistic uh, there's a number of different weapons that you open up over time um, there's kind of a skill tree within the weapons if, if that makes sense uh, that you upgrade over time just a joy to play um, so the other day I made it to uh, the first boss for the first time and um, you know after that it didn't go well <laughs> so after that um, I, I got back there several times and eventually 
I thwarted him. Now, I got the headset uh, around Christmas time, so I haven't had it a ton of time. Um, let's see what this is. Ooh, recover 1% of HP every 5 seconds. Increase movement speed by 20%. 1% chance to inflict 20% of attack power. Oh, I gotta grab that. I gotta do it. Alright, let's see what's in here real quick. Um... Well, let's do a refresh. Oh, look at this. What's this? Reset all cooldowns. I'm perfectly timed. Uh, I don't love that. Let's give it one more. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The infinite mag. All right. That is phenomenal. Um, so anyway, uh, Starting planet this was the first time I really, truly was sweating my ass off after this battle. Um, okay, let's do that. Oh, this is phenomenal. Infinite mag. What a pull. What a pull. That's going to be a big help to the team. Um, yeah, and you know, it's, uh, it's not the most comfortable thing to sweat inside an Oculus Quest 2. Um, is it worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Every day of the week it's worth it. Um, but it's it's not it's not the most fun thing you can do. Um, but this battle, man, it, it was like this creature, and they get right up in your face. I mean, because they're all 18 feet tall, you know? And this guy is just... He's swinging his claws around. Um, you know, you, you have to you have to position your sword or your weapon, whatever you're using, in the right way to block the attacks. And then as soon as the attack is done, uh, you know, you have to get in there and start swinging right away to take advantage of, of the timing and everything. So, um, you know, it's I guess in a way it's like it's like punch out with aliens. It's really neat. Until you fall, uh, check it out. Check it out. I think you're gonna like it. Um, I, I'm just, I'm having a blast with uh, the headset. I was having a great time with uh, uh, what's it called? I'm spacing on the uh, the name of it. Um, well, I played it on the channel. It's a it's a crossbow, bow and arrow type game. Um, in Death, In Death Unchained. That's what it's called. That's a wonderful game too, and I thought, boy, you know, this, how could it get any better than I played Until You Fall? And my goodness. Speaking of uh, new games I've been playing, I just picked up uh, a game called Vampire Survivors. Have you heard of this one? It's kind of taken the world by storm. Uh, overwhelmingly positive on Steam. And, um, you know, it's, and it's $3. So, so let me put that out there too. It's $3 on Steam. And this is, uh, how would I describe this? I don't know. I've been calling it a roguelite bullet hell, but it's not, you know, as far as, I, now I haven't played a ton of it. It's not really bullet hell -y yet. It's more like uh, horde management, you know? So you're walking around. You've got a horde of zombies and bats coming at you. And your attacks uh, happen automatically. Um, and you're basically trying to manage the horde and pick up the gems that they drop when you kill them. And when you do, uh, you level up when you get enough of them. And it's just, it's good old fun. You know, I, I was watching a, a fellow content creator, Matty KO, play this. And uh, I said, boy, you know, It'd be fun to do like a score attack type thing, you know? Uh, and so I, uh, I I posed that to him and he said, boy, you know, I love this idea. Let's do this. Let's do this. And the next thing you know, our channels were, uh, you know, going to war with each other. So my, uh, my first attempt is out there. Uh, he needs to answer to it. I'm, I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping it doesn't go well for him and, and the GOAT score ends up being, uh, you know, the, the one the one. We'll have to see. 
but Vampire Survivors, uh, keep that on your radar screen. It's just, it's just good, good, clean fun, man. Okay. I was delighted to see that IGN even did a review of the game. You know, usually these smaller games, these indies, uh, they don't, they don't get on the, the, you know, the big stage like that. So it's nice to see. All right, I've got to pay attention to what I'm doing here. I can't take too many more hits. Uh-oh. Friendly Breaker is down. Oh, no. Okay. Now, if we win, he's going to get back up. So that's the name of the game. We just got to win. Ooh. Good thing I had that shield up when those golds hit me. I think we're gonna win here, though. Yes, there we go. Pick our buddy up. Okay, let's uh, hit that boss vendor real quick here. Let's see what we can. Uh, let's see what we can see. So we've got the defense suit. You know, I don't know why we wouldn't. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. You know, I just uh, we've talked about this before. Those tasty, tasty golds. I just. I just gotta, I just gotta have him. I just gotta have him. That's that Midas goat. That, uh, that King Midas goat for you. Starting planet exploration. Okay, man, I'd love to have a successful run here and see the, uh, see that infinite mag get replicated. Uh, well, we don't have to do that. Let's, uh, let's reduce the cooldown, why don't we? I don't have enough money to even entertain the boss vendor. All right. All right! Still working through, uh, <clears throat> Rogue Legacy 2 here, too. If any of you have been, uh, watching those videos. Um having a good old time with it. I, uh, yeah, it's, it's a game that I put on hold for, for a, a good while, um, to let them, you know, kind of finish up the, the development process before I dove back in. And, uh, you know, now they've, they've gotten it to a point where you get to the final area and, you know, kind of go through it. Uh, so I've, I've gotten to the final boss, or, or the the guy that I believe is the final boss at this point. Um, and uh, you know what? He's hard. Uh, to the to the surprise of nobody, he's hard. Okay, we got to blast these guys. Oh, man. This guy's coming at me. Oh, wow. That was a nice hit. We're not seeing those big and beefy numbers yet, but uh, I would imagine, you know, a few more upgrades. A few more trips to the boss vendor, right? We'll probably see those. But I would love to get a successful Campanella run. I saw a tweet out there from uh, the Anvil account, and they said, hey, you're going to be playing as Quake soon. Now, I don't know what soon means, but uh, they said it's coming. Oh, boy, we got an immunity device now. Holy smokes. They're just really rolling out the golds here. Um, let's do that, you know. It's always a bummer to get uh, tangled up in a battle. Oh, man, that would have been good, too. All right. Well, no sense in uh, continue to look and waste funds. Starting planet exploration. And some of these guys, you know, they can uh, they can shock you or petrify you, and you know, if, if they're in their one-shot mode, yeah, you're just done at that point. 
Uh, let's see. So that's got to be at a perfect dodge. Recover 10% of max HP on use. I wish this affected everybody. I guess we'll go with that. I don't get the perfect dodges off enough. So, I'll go with something that uh, I can nail more constantly. All right. See if we can petrify. Yep, there it is. There it is. I I really respect uh, the, the jungler players out there. Um, you know, I, I I liked my time with the jungler, but I just I I think that's one of the the breakers that I, I think there's lot more options out there that I would pick before the jungler. Um, nothing against the jungler, but, you know, I, I just think there's better options overall. Um, well, let us know in the comments if, if you're a jungler purist, uh, you know, if, if that's kind of your, your go-to. Um, let us know, you know, maybe I could be convinced otherwise. Maybe I'm uh, not using the jungler to the fullest capability. Always a chance of that. All right, now these guys gotta. I'm talking about my my colleagues here. You gotta be careful when he's spinning. See, this is why I bought the extra dodges for moments like this. Oh, man. Let's get some health back. Holy moly. I guess we'd be seeing those perfect dodges on this one. Maybe I should have thought twice about buying that. All right. I've been just going nutty with uh, our air fryer lately. I, I figured it's it's uh, time for some meal talk here. Um, I ended up uh, buying the wife an air fryer for Christmas, and she had wanted one. And uh, man, like I say, we've just been getting all kinds of nutty with it. Um, the other day, you know, I realized that I bought the wrong kind of. Uh, Tortillas, but you know it was a happy mistake. Uh, so I, I wanted the flour tortillas, but I, I ended up with corn tortillas. Here's the thing: those corn tortillas, they crisp up so well, uh, it, it's incredible. So you know, you pop those things in the air fryer, you basically have tortilla chips, right? And I kind of just took the science of, of that and ran with it. Um, in, in some of the best ways. So the other day, you know, for, for no reason at all, I said, hey, boy, you know, this would uh, this be interesting with some cheese and some ham on it, right? So I just popped three of them in there. Some ham and cheese on the uh, corn tortillas. Lit that air fryer up. What a, what a deal. What a deal. Just really solid. All right, oh my God, am I the last one? Oh, I'm it, all right. Well, now we know who they're gonna be aiming for. You know, I wonder if I should let one of these guys up. Oh, what a stinker. All right, let's, let's get one of them up. How do I do it? Somebody got up. Oh, now I'm down. Oh no. Oh, they're going to get me up. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. All right. It's just the return of, of the kindness. Love it. Okay. All right, now we're really going to... Now we're really going to mess some shit up. At least we're going to try to.
There we go. There it is. All right. Tremendous. All right, how did we do here? 389. Let's see what we got with this boss vendor. Uh, eh. Well. Here we go. You know what? I'll take an extra 30,000. Why not? Why not? Take another juicy gold. All right. Good deal. Yeah, we've we've had some really really good luck with uh, the air fryer. Um, you know, I've done uh, I've done wings in it now, and um, boy, somebody's going really wild with that gun. Uh, <clears throat> I've done wings. I've done wings where you know you coat them in a little bit of uh, oh flour, paprika. Uh, some garlic powder. I've also done them naked, you know, just to see, uh, <clears throat> for science, of course, you know, how they turned out. Um, you know, I think we want to do this one. Let's do that one, and let's see if there's anything in here. No, can't afford it. All right. Um, and the wings, you know, they turn out delicious. Uh, you know, you do have to cook them for a while. Um, this is like, I don't know. 35 minutes or so, but they crisped up. And I mean, I'm talking fresh wings too, just to be clear. Uh, this is not like a bag of buffalo wings that I picked up in the frozen section. This is, uh, you know, fresh from, uh, from the meat counter. Um, so I've been just really, really thrilled with the air fryer. And the one we got, uh, it's by, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know where the company's located, but it's, it's Can-Do, C-A-N-D-O. Uh, it's big and it's easy to clean and you can, you know, you can fit a lot of food in there. It's really great. Boy, these guys are, uh, these guys are melting away pretty fast here. I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. In fact, this guy's almost down. Wow. Melty McMelt. I wonder if somebody picked up something good. I, I don't I don't think it was me. I mean I got good stuff, the infinite mag, you know. Nobody's gonna argue with that. But somebody's somebody's doing colossal damage, or all of us together maybe. I, I don't know. Because my DPS is, you know, nothing to write mom about. Uh at 12 and a half. Um Okay, so we got the crit chip. Uh, let's let's rotate here. Uh, let's rotate again. Oh boy! Oh boy! Look at that! And that sweet pumpkin candy. You know I'm. You know I'm getting that sweet, sweet pumpkin candy. All right. It's it's not the gold candy that I really like, but but I'll take that sweet, sweet. Oh my goodness, we're at the last guy. All right. Well, this uh, this has been wonderful. I know that uh, boy and brown me right now, but uh, you know, thank you to both of you, anyways. Um, hey, maybe you'll see the video out on the Goat Force Gaming channel. All right. Uh, well, no money for that, so we're just uh, we're diving in here. 105,000 health. Let's take a look at the stats real quick. Here's your final stats look. Uh, I'm excited. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm gonna be doing some corn tortilla action for lunch today again. And uh, you know who knows? Maybe uh, maybe some ham and cheese drops on them. Wouldn't be the worst thing to ever happen. And that cheese, too. And I'm talking uh, American, uh, American craft slices, right, where it's quote-unquote cheese. It's, it's probably not real cheese, but even the cheese gets a, a little bit of a crisp on it, you know, where you're, you're uh, biting into it and you get that ooey-gooey. It's that ooey, you know? Oh, boy. That ooey cheese. All right. Well, you know, I really hope we get a win here. 
I would just absolutely love the opportunity. I know it's not guaranteed, but I'd love the opportunity to, uh, to have that infinite mag. You know what I'm talking about? Be wonderful. All right. Okay, I don't know. I, I, I feel I feel good. I feel good about this. But I know at some point it's going to get ridiculously hard. Oh, boy. And the other thing is, you know, I, I'm pretty sure we've all used up our, our revives here. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, guy. I'm saving that shield for, you know, when I take life damage. Because that's going to help give me uh, some health back. And then I've got the sweet, sweet on top of it, you know? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The old one-shotter. I don't know if anybody can revive me. That's a stinker. Wowie. All right, well... Let's uh, let's cheer them on, cheer on the boys here. I'm still having fun watching. Speaking of having fun, um, I, uh, I I got to a new spot in Spelunky 2. Um, if, if you're not aware, we've been treating it like a road light. So every five runs, um, the community votes in a new item for the goat, you know, to, to help to help out really. And um, you know, we we voted in Vlad's cape last time around, uh, and it's it's just a wonderful item to have because it gives you a double jump and then the capability to uh, to float. And so that's really enabled me to get through uh, the, the fifth area, which is, uh, boy, it's a tough, it's just a really, really tough zone. Um, so I've been uh, been having just a, a good old time with that. But we made it to, uh, I, and I don't know if it's it's the boss of the game or, or not, but we made it to a new boss. And, uh, you know, she, she, of course, took me down. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, looks like he survived that. Oh, come on. You guys can do it. Good thing he's got a shield. Oh, wow. Uh, these guys are really good. Um, I'm glad I could help them out while I was uh, able to. Oh, man. Oh, I couldn't tell if that guy survived that one or not. No, I didn't mean it to, but, you know, this is uh, this has kind of turned into one of those reaction videos on YouTube that that I never really watch. And, and here, here I am uh, <laughs> making my own. I really hope these guys can do it. Um... So they've got, man, they're, I mean, they're melting him down pretty good. We've got what? Two more? One more after the blue? Yeah. Let's see what happens here. And so that Anvil tweet, um, it's a little bit, uh, mysterious, you know, but uh, they definitely got my attention, for sure. Uh, it just says, February update where players can try out Quake and give feedback coming soon. That's exciting. And then, of course, you know, people are asking, when? Oh, that's a stinker. Exploration failed. Hey, you know what? We gave it a really, really good try. Um, we really did. This was a fun run. Made it 19 minutes. That was cool. 
I would absolutely do that again. And, uh, you know, let me know. I know that I've still got to add somebody that commented with their, um, their Xbox tag, but you know, I wonder if we should, uh, ooh, there's a gold that got replicated. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I wonder if we should, uh, try and get the community together, you know, um, or even if it doesn't include me, you know, pop your tag out there. If you're looking for, you know, friends to, to play this with, let's buddy up on the channel. I mean, that's that's why we do this, you know? We've got a community. Let's take advantage of the community that, uh, that we're building here around this game. And of course, you know, the more people that uh, play this game, the more successful it's gonna be, uh, the more updates we get, the more they take care of the game, right? Um, so, do me a favor, do the game a favor, slap that like button. Just slap it. Uh, it helps the video trend, it helps more people see it. It helps uh, expose this game to the world so that we get more people uh, playing it. Because um, I want it to last a long time. We'll be doing this again here, uh, the, the multiplayer thing. I enjoyed it. I know we didn't get a win today, but we came awfully close. Uh, Sandman tried. We just got that one shotter. If not for that, I I think we would have held out for uh, for a while there. So, anyway, you be well. Thanks for the support. Take care. Drink good coffee. Go out in the world. Do good things. See, I'm, I'm stealing that from Matty Ko. Uh, and take care. Have a nice one. We'll see you next time on the Goat Force Gaming Channel.